the mini pattern pieces are back and I'm using them to show you how to do a really cool fun hack to a dress bodice. So keep watching. Hi sewing friends, I'm Karina. This is Lifting Pins and Needles, a channel all about sewing, limitless sewing. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you are regularly stopping by, I thank you and I appreciate you for that a great deal. If you are new and you like to sew, you have found the right channel to come and watch. There's lots of sewing content here. And if you like what you see during this video, go ahead and subscribe. Be part of this community, tap on the bell and all notifications so you never miss out when I upload a new video full of sewing tips and tricks. Today I have a really cool, fun pattern hack to show you. As you know, recently mom was here visiting me. She came along with my dad and stayed for three weeks. Before they arrived, I'd prepared and actually purchased some fabric specifically thinking about my mom. Now, I've always known that she loves polka dots. Like years and years ago, I have recollection of her wearing items of clothing with polka dots, but, but currently she didn't really have any in her wardrobe. I always told her I don't like them that much. <laughs> But over time, I actually have been warming up to polka dots and I think it's got to do with the size of the dot. When I saw a linen with this print in one of the local shops, I immediately thought of my mom and how she would love it and I purchased some to make her a dress. Since she arrived and we were talking about the styles that she would like me to make her, she always mentioned she wanted a fitted bodice and the skirt with a bit more volume. So she's usually more of the sheath dress type of person. Um, usually the last couple of dresses I've made her have been more fitted styles. But she was like, yeah, I'd like a fuller skirt. I think that would be really nice. So we looked at a lot of pictures so she could figure out what she wanted. And I'm showing you here a picture of a black dress with white polka dots like the fabric I had. She loves a good v-neck. She always wants a sleeve. And you can see that skirt is Sort of got some volume in, you know and then the picture i'm putting right here is another polka dot dress but it's in verse you know white background with black dots but into that dress there is a black waistband as you can see as part of the bodice now this is a feature she was adamant that she loved she thinks it's really flattering and i agree to define a waist and there is always a way to adapt a dress pattern to have that style you know, it's, it's a really cool fun hack that can be applied to a bodice. Now, while she was here, I was sewing high volumes of items for her. <laughs> so I used a method that I thought was gonna be easier and that was for her to try on my clothing. We have similar upper bodies and my clothing could be like the muslin that I could assess what changes I needed to make for her version. So that is the approach I made and that is why you see some items I've made for myself in the past I've made for her as well because she also liked the style. During the month of March, Love Notions released a dress pattern for woven fabrics called the Lyric Dress and I have a full video about that dress on this channel. I made a dress version and a peplum and I'm putting some pictures here so you can see Ever since I've made this, it's been an all-time favorite due to the way it fits. It's got the right volume on the skirt. It's just the perfect dress for me, super flattering. And this pattern actually today is the Feature Friday pattern that is only $5. So this pattern comes from sizes 0 to 24 and has individual cup sizes from A through to D. Lots of skirt options, you know, length of sleeves and types of sleeve options and types of skirts. You know, it also has a peplum version. So there's lots of ways that you can play with this pattern to make it extend further. And I have not finished with this pattern. <laughs> I have made skirts from the skirt pieces of this dress. You know, it's just a staple for me, very hackable. And I love that about a pattern once you get the right fit. So my dress version was a 14 C cup. My mom tried it on and for my version, I'd had to lower the side bust as usual for hers. I had to raise it back up. She has a different proportion to me, very similar, but she's shorter, so she's shorter in the bodice and from the nape of the neck down to under the arm size, she's shorter as well, which affects the positioning of, you know, of darts, even though it's the same cup size. So for her, actually, the Lyric, the original pattern is perfect. 
and for her I had to use a 14 all the way up here and then blend into a 12 and then use a skirt size 12 to attach to the bodice very minimal adjustments otherwise super easy to just go ahead and make I had already made her the cadence top from Love Notions and I knew that the shoulder fit was good and the sleeve and as a reference I thought yeah it's it's sort of the same block that is used to create different styles of patterns so it should fit so I didn't make a muslin for the sleeve I just had a lot of faith it was gonna turn out and it did mom's request was a really fun and great opportunity for me to get my pattern pieces add some lines do some cuts do some little hacks and I just love doing that stuff. I just absolutely love it. And it's not hard to achieve what she wanted. And that is what I'm going to show you in a close and so person with mini pattern pieces so that it's easier to see what I'm doing. So I'm sure you're gonna like it. Just keep watching. Here it comes. These are mini pieces of the Lyric bodice. So this is the front, this is the back. These are actually half the size of the original size of the pattern. So this is a size 14 C cup, which is the size I saw for myself and for my mum, and it's just half the size. I have marked with pink as reference the seam allowances included in the pattern that are 3 eighths of an inch. Because I'm working with half the size of a pattern, this is actually half of that, you know? So I've done the side seams and the seams that attach to the skirt for both the back and the front because those are actually the only ones that matter. That is the only area I'm going to make modifications to. So mom wanted a curved waistband that would be in a contrast color on the bodice. So the skirt will be attached there. There's no change to that. From the seam upwards, I thought a two inch waistband would look nice. So that's the line that you can see right there. You know, I'm working with a half size pattern so this is just all in proportion <laughs> that red line that you can see there is two inches not from the bottom of the pattern because remember this has seam allowance so from the line here which is actually the seam line where the pattern will be actually sewn onto the skirt from the blue line I marked it that's where I measure upwards the two inches that I want in the width of this waistband so I've done a line across you can see the dots here on the pattern have a shape and that's because they have been trued in the drafting and I have done the same right there. So you can see that there's a little shape there. I didn't just draw a straight line, you know? So I've done the same with the back from the seam line that is there upwards two inches. So I'm actually going to trace the bottom bit of the bodice onto paper. I have traced this bottom bit of the bodice onto this piece of paper so it's actually the same thing if I put this behind there it's exactly the same it's got the line there that matches the line I made there and most importantly I need to transfer those dots over there on that area so basically what I want to do is remove these dots to create the shaped waistband so I'm just going to cut them out So I've cut out the dart for the front one and I'm going to do the same with the back. Now this here is just excess paper that I have because I need to re-add the seam allowance to the top once I finish shaping this. So I'm going to start with the back. I'm going to get rid of that little dart that I cut out and now reunite these pieces with a bit of tape. Do the same with the front one. Get rid of that little dart and unite this there. Okay, so you can see how I've formed a waistband that doesn't have the darts in the waistband that will reduce bulk and keep the shape anatomically of the body. You know, this is not going to change fit at all. It's just going to affect the dress visually with the same fit with the dots not being there, but actually being there. You know what I mean? Now that I've done that, I need to add 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance to the top of the waistband. 
and you know I've been doing it as reference with this pink so it's easy for you to see and you can see the front there following the grain line of one of the marks on my cutting mat matches the bottom bit there this line references the line that folds back you know this is like an integrated facing on the bodice and this just continues to the waistband there and you can see the shape that this takes when you remove that dart there from the waist that is where the dart used to be same on the back now these waistbands always have this shape when you look at them they're like curved down like that same as here and that's how they're supposed to look I know when you look at patterns and you see them on fabric and you're attaching these to that it looks really wrong <laughs> but that's how they're supposed to be, uh, be so the next step is to shorten this bodice because it's going to be attached to that waistband so I have done that already <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of these and I have my shorter bodices now. This line here that you saw where I cut to make the waistband there is this line here, the dark blue line right there. And I have added to the bottom 3-8 seam allowance. And it's the same on the back. So that is the original line here. That one that I drew there is that one there. And I've added 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. So actually, when these go sewn on together now, like that, they will be the same. They will have the same length, the same width. They will actually look exactly the same as if you hadn't done this adjustment. It's just that the waistband is gonna create a super nice visual impact on the piece. And it's what mom wanted, you know? So if you ever see dresses that have a waistband attached, as part of the design, you know that this is how it was done from the main bodice. Just part of the waist that was removed and reshaped and that is how you achieve that. When cutting this on actual fabric, there are two ways that this can be done. One, you can just go the simple route and cut two of these waistbands mirrored imaged, the same as you would cut the bodice and just attach them together. The back is on the fold, so you would cut the back bodice and the back waistband on the fold and just attach them. That would mean that you would have a seam around your midriff. Uh, some of us have really sensitive skin there and it could be really uncomfortable. Some of you might not, so you could go with that option. The option I would personally do if I was doing an unlined dress is to actually cut two pairs of waistbands mirrored for the front and two waistbands for the back on the fold so that I could have the waistband be double and lined on the waistband area. That would mean that this seam there on the midriff will be enclosed within the double waistband and it would be smoother inside to the touch for that sensitive area of our bodies. The way I did it for my mum was the first option. I just cut two of these attached, one of these attached to there but I fully lined the dress. That means that the seam here at the midriff is gonna be not touching her skin. She's gonna have lining fabric in there and it's gonna be comfortable for her. So two options. I think I would go with the second, that is to cut the waistbands double. I think that gives a neater finish inside and more comfortable. So win-win in both ways. These waistbands take next to nothing more extra fabric if you're going to cut two of these and two pairs of these mirrors. I hope that was fun to watch. You saw what I've done. It was really fun. I cut out some black linen to contrast the black with white polka dot linen. It's exactly what she wanted. And now I'm going to show you the details of the dress. I don't have the dress like here, of course, because the dress is in Chile. <laughs> Mum left, you know, a couple of weeks ago, but I filmed everything about the dress inside and out so you can have a look this is a printed linen i chose it specially for her because she really likes polka dots and i'm gonna take you up close to see the details this is a fully lined dress well except for the sleeves <laughs> and she requested i do a contrast black waistband incorporated into the bodice so i've shown you how to do that it's very easy adaptation to do to the bodice that really gives the dress something special up close we can see the neckline and there you can see the waistband we were really careful to leave a buttonhole and button right in the middle of the waistband 
when I was calculating the distance of the buttonholes and everything, this was my starting point. This was the one I knew had to be there. And from then up, I started measuring an adequate distance so that the first button would be adequate as well. So it wasn't that easy to calculate, but I knew I had to have that button right in the middle of that waistband. That was the most important feature there. Close, you can see the contrast linen waistband looks super cool and that goes around to the back so you can see darts that come up the darts from the bodice originally but the waistbands don't have the darts and that's because I took it out in the drafting process the hem has been hand hemmed by my mom lovingly <laughs> then we have a lining under there the lining goes all the way up to the neck piece there now inside the dress I'm going to show you what I've done to stabilize this area. This is satin charmeuse with a little bit of spandex. It was the softest lining I could find. And so there the middle bands you can see where the lining has been attached to the integrated facing that the Lyric dress has. So if it's normally sewn and lined, you would have this folded in on both sides and you would serge that or finish it with whatever method you want and that would be it. And then if this was unlined, you would have the vice binding coming from here uh, to finish the neckline. In this case, I replaced all that with the lining. So it's lined right up to the neckline. It's been understitched to keep the lining inside so it won't peep out towards the right side. Leaves are not lined. You can see that the lining piece reaches all the way up to the seam. But I sewed on the sleeves, as you can see there. And before surging the seam allowance of the sleeves, I pinned the lining to that seam allowance and then surged that together. So actually the lining is not making bulk to the seam of the sleeves. It's just been surged on to keep it in place there, but it's not on that seam, you know? So that's how I finish the sleeves right there. I've shown before when I've lined dresses or blazers or skirts, I don't actually sew the darts in the lining. I just fold them as pleats. So you can see that little pleat there, that little pleat there, that would be the, the dart of the bodice, but not in this case. Same for these that's here at the waist they have just been pleated so that you know you can have more ease around the lining i did sew the side bust that's of the lining i think those you need to actually sew <laughs> i'm trying to show inside the neckline now you can see a large area has been interfaced the main fabric and that is to give stability to the neckline so all the neckline of the v on the linen i fused on quite a thickish band of interfacing to both the front and this is the back if i pull the lining up you're going to see black interfacing there <laughs> on the front i used white because i ran out of black but as this is all inside you can't tell here on the inside is where you can see that the waistband has been sewn on i have pressed that seam, the top seam of the waistband down and the other one has been pressed down as well. Every single seam has been finished with overlocker for the lining and for the dress because it's all loose, you know. I wouldn't just leave raw edges in there even if it's lined. This is a super great dress for her. She's so happy to have it. She loves polka dots and she hadn't had a polka dot garment in a long time. Everything about it is just her style, the v-neckline, semi-fitted bodice, the waistband she wanted. She said it felt like a really expensive dress when she put it on. Super proud of it. You can see that I did fully line the dress up to the neckline, everything inside and stabilize all the neckline area with interfacing. And those are steps I didn't show you in Up Close and So Personal because I think it would be too long. <laughs> <laughs> if you think that is something that you would like to see, please let me know if you want to know how to do this. I line dresses like this all the time, especially when I make dresses for my nieces. It's the same method I used for this. And actually, any dress that has a button band, you know, can be lined in the way that I've done it. So if you think that's something you would like to see, let me know. But for now, I just focused on adding the curved waistband 
because what you do there for the hat doesn't really require the dress to be lined, you know, that's just separate. Here is my mum in her dress. I use the original length of the skirt, midi length, because that's what she likes. You can see she wanted contrast white buttons. I would have preferred black, but it's her dress. <laughs> there you can see the black waistband attached to the bodice. I think it gives a really good um, break of the dress. It makes it look like she's wearing a belt, but she's actually not. I love how it fits on her, the shoulders, the neckline, the sleeve. I think it's just a great dress for her. And all the work that went into this one was really worth it because she was super satisfied and proud to wear it when we went to church together one day. She wore it, she said she felt like a million bucks, that it felt like she was wearing a really expensive dress and that makes me super happy to have done that for her. This type of hat can be done to any type of dress. You know, I did it with this one because I knew the fit was right and I wanted to get rid of the darts there on that area of the mid midriff because it doesn't really look good if you do a waistband with darts. It's just not, you know, bulky. And if you have a pattern that doesn't have darts on the waistline but you would like to do that, you, it's even easier because you wouldn't even have to remove the darts. If it's a dress designed for knit fabric, even easier, even easier because you wouldn't have to do anything. You would just have to determine how wide you would want it and just cut, add seam allowances like you saw me do and have a go. I think it's a visual thing that some people like, other people don't like. My mum likes it, I like it, so I thought I would share it with you and I hope you enjoyed it. I actually used this dress bodice as a block for my mum for another project. You're going to see a little bit later on. I've also used the skirt pieces to make her more things, so it's not the last time you're going to see this pattern. I think it's just a staple and very hackable and you can get a lot of like use from the pattern further by doing all these sorts of hacks. If you think this pattern would work for you, you could get it today for only $5 because it's a feature Friday pattern and the affiliate link is down below in the description box. As always, if you purchase through there, that supports me at no cost to you because I receive a small commission from that sale. I am super excited about the two videos coming up on Sunday and Tuesday, so please stay tuned for those. I'm super excited about those. And I will leave you now. Why don't you spend more time on the channel watching a few more videos? There's lots to see. I might as well tell you that. Happy sewing and I will see you very soon. I'm gonna head back inside because it's almost sunset and the mosquitoes are making their appearance. Bye.